Hi everyone, it's Vufex here. Just wanted to say before we get started, uh, something that I never thought I would say anytime soon, but the 3D learning website Wingfox is sponsoring this video, so huge thanks to them for that. I also want to say a quick thanks to everyone watching this video for the support. The channel is almost at 2.4 thousand subscribers as of making this video, and the behind the scenes of the short film has 100,000 views. So again, thank you to thank you all so much and uh, on to the video. Now as you may have seen in the title, I'm going to restyle my short film, Boarding Party, which is a film I made in Blender 3D and it's now up on my channel. Highly recommend that you watch it. I also made a video about the process behind making it also on my channel. But to learn how to do this, I'm going to be following a tutorial provided to me by Wingfox on their website by the creator George Barrero. I, I really hope I'm saying that right. Anyways, the course is following a few different methods of stylizing, but for the short film, I figured this Neuer kind of private high look would be best for this film specifically. Now, as I started watching the course provided to me by Wing Fox, I realized something right away. This guy is using Eevee, which means I'll have to switch the render engine from the one I made it in, Cycles, to the one I used to use way back in the laptop days, Eevee. This is mainly due to the fact that Eevee it has this one node for shading that Cycles does not. That's because Eevee isn't real. There could be some potential problems with switching to Eevee, but we'll see. Now despite the fact that this is a course, most of it's just the node setups, which is fine for advanced users, but for more basic users, I would recommend something that you know is right for you and your learning style. Amper 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 The first thing I did when following the video was set up a basic shader that would use a stretched noise texture that when the light was projected on it, it would kind of like show up and, but otherwise it would be dark. I found this particular style worked well with the short film because of its dark theme. Now keep in mind, unless this video gets like 2000 likes, I will not redo the whole film into this theme because switching shots from Eevee to Cycles is a lot of work and I have much better video ideas. Now I redid a few shots, the first one is this shot, which is actually the first shot I created for the short film, and seeing it finished was a big motivation for making the rest of the film. I think the style works very well with the flashlights and the outline of the characters is very neat in my opinion. Uh, I didn't have to change much to get it into Eevee, just all the textures of literally everything and I also had to add in fake lights because everything is fake in Eevee. And if you see people on the Discord post something cool they made in Eevee, it's not real, it's fake. Oh and uh, to my therapist, I'm fine, please stop calling me. This shot was redone because I didn't want to just redo shots of characters, but I want to say that I, well, I think it turned out alright, but it would have been better in cycles because of the indirect lighting from the lightning and also the lights on the ship and in the hangar. Anyways, here's a test shading that is the first result of the course. I used a test animation for one of my characters, and I used the same shaders. Now rendered straight out of Blender, these look kind of bland, so using the magic spice of After Effects, I can flavor these renders up quite a bit. I used the same compositing techniques as I did in the final film. I added color grading, even though it's black and white footage. I added some blur in one of the shots, and I also added a hamster-sized amount of noise and chromatic aberration. The final shots looked like this. And this is them compared to the original shots. All in all, I think this style is really cool, but there's a ton of potential for something like this. Now, learning this technique was more of a copying node setups than a walkthrough, and although Wingfox offers a variety of courses, they also have a variety of instructors who may meet your exact learning needs, which is why I would recommend it for relative beginners as well as pros for Blender and other a bunch of other software. Another great thing about Wingfox is that they have an app, so maybe you're like me and you have to balance work and school and a bunch of other things, so you're not always able to work on your projects or learn. Well, Wingfox has an app so you can look through potential courses you might want to buy or learn, on the go and with 3D there's always something new to learn. Anyways, I would recommend any aspiring 3D artist to step it up from YouTube tutorials to this website. I also want to say I did experiment with the other styles in the course. I did not squander my opportunity, however the result with the other styles was kind of goofy so I didn't want to mess with it too much. I again want to say thank you for 2000 subscribers. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. I have some really cool stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all next time.
Sebo on it.